Hi everyone, and I'm Mr. Jai Khanta. Again, uh, I hope you uh, that you have enjoyed my previous video tutorials. And um, today, what I'm going to show you is an, another very important video tutorial. Uh, it's all about sending an SMS by using the Android operating system. So uh, there are actually two ways of sending an SMS. You can use uh, the first method would be you can ask the operating system Android OS to send an SMS for you, right? So the second method you can, rather than asking Android operating system to send, I mean by using, I mean not by using uh, the Android operating system. SMS sending application, you can create your own graphical user, user interface uh, to send an SMS, right? So anyway, Android OS will be sending the message, but what I mean, the first method would be you are not creating any user interface. Uh, Android operating system, uh, the first method, if you are going to use, uh, I mean, you will be using the Android operating system SMS application. The, I mean, with the graphical user interface, right? So you're not going to, I mean, uh, use any GUI part. The first one. So let's start a new project, Android project. Uh, let's say SMS test application, right? Um, let's say Android.srp. Comment this slide for the time being. You know why we comment that because I have explained that uh, in, in my previous video tutorial. So what you need to do, you need to start an activity because you are you are going to invoke uh, operating systems application, right? So activity with an intent. So I will create a new instance of intent, right? So use this one spring and URI. So okay, okay. What I mean by uh, an intent, intent is an abstract description of an operation that you're going to perform, right? So uh, let's use intent dot uh, action view, right? So action view is something um, it displays the details to the user right for an example if you type the number so then you can use that number you know uh, let's say if you have uh, linked an email address with that number so you can use uh, that email also uh, associated with that number right so for an example there are a lot of uh, actions like call action to uh, choose action and you can yeah get the dial number right so you can get you can dial a number right by calling this so anyway I will use action view so you are right um, and what I will will select uh, for the URI there's a method called form parts Right, the first one SMS that you're going to send. Right. So next one your phone number. Right. So let me create a string and phone number. Right. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. This month. Okay. Now, so build ones, right? Because you need to generate uh, the R dot R dot Java, R dot Java dot D, right? So now find. Now you can access that. This one, right? So uh, now you can run the application go to properties uh, if you have already run your emulator right if not you can start a uh, new emulator right so it will pop up when you run uh, the application right 
So I'm selecting my existing device. This one. So let's see. Right. Now this is the phone number that we have typed here. And what you can do, so you can edit if you want, right? So for example, you can edit it and you can type your text. Send. Right. Uh, okay, and it works. So I'm not going to show you installing this application to my phone because this is something that you can guarantee, right? So uh, you should have a trust that Android application will send this SMS because this is not what you are going to do, right? This is something that the application, I mean, this is the basic uh, Android operating system, the SMS sender. So once you invoke that, so it will take care of the other operations that you perform. Right, so you do not need to test this if you want to you install this application uh, to your phone right so I'll tell you how to do it so you know that uh, so we, we, I, I'll show you that uh, in my next tutorial so keep looking my videos uh, tutorials uh, so I'll show you how to install to your phone because the next tutorial we need to install it and see because it's something that uh, the SMS sending part will be done by us, right? So we will be having our graphical user interface rather than this one, right? This one. So then we need to check and see uh, whether it's going to, it will be working or not, right? So uh, this is all about uh, the first method, right? Um, for sending an SMS. So we'll uh, go with the second method, right? So uh, in the next video tutorial, I'll be explaining that. So, thank you, and let's see in the next tutorial.